Oh man, it's the grab bag! Now, I know I said I was going to review something that I hadn't seen for ages, but I'm actually going to review something else first, because I finished it. Uh, I was listening to an audiobook called We Are Legion, We Are Bob, the first book in the Bobiverse series. I would say trilogy, but apparently he's come out with more books, but the third book is a very good spot to end. And I haven't listened to them in about four or five years, so I thought, you know, because I was having some weird glitch going on with YouTube where when I pre-downloaded videos, it was causing my phone to burn through the battery and overheat. And I couldn't really explain it, so I don't know. I decided, instead of just burning through my battery and my data and everything else, that I would take part of my time at work to listen to the, uh, well, some of the audiobooks, because I have a, an Audible account that I used to have a lot of books, well, I used to have an active Audible account, and I shut it down for YouTube Premium, but I still happen to have 216 books in that library, so... I decided to go ahead and listen to it, and, well, it was, I didn't remember how much anti-Christian sentiment there was at the very beginning of the book. You see, Bob was a smart guy who signed a contract that if he were to die, they would basically freeze him to try to remake, like, you know, if he were to be able to be fixed, he would be revived in the future well they kind of didn't go that way they just simply scanned his brain and put it inside of a computer and then because of things that had happened the faction that took over the united states or the majority of the united states was called faith and they were a theocracy and bob is kind of like an atheist and there was a bit of anti-Christian sentiment towards the beginning of the book. Thankfully, once Bob's computer brain is put inside the spaceship and leaves Earth, that anti-Christian sentiment starts to leave completely, uh, and the, bo the book focuses more on hard science and exploration. You see, Bob was part of a program to basically seed the universe, to have humanity get off of Earth. And the best way they thought was if they made immortal spaceships that could pilot themselves, repair themselves, build things themselves, would be the best way to go out and explore the entire universe. But what wound up happening is most of the uh, people, the as they call them in the book, replicants, uh, went insane because they couldn't handle it. But Bob, he was a nerd who was a loner, was quite used to all this and was able to speed through the program faster than most people, which was a good thing because at this point there was a tentative peace sort of between these different factions. Um, you have Faith, the um, was it the United European Nations. Then you had uh, China as one like massive superpower over most of Asia, and the Brazilian Empire, which was South America. Well, they all didn't really like each other that much, and they were all on the verge of war. And when Bob got launched, war did break out. So the first book, you spend the first bit getting away from Earth. And then later on, after Bob begins to duplicate himself, which is the reason there's a joke about We Are Legion, he copies himself into new ships, and each one of these copies is slightly different. So they're not ex the you know exact same mental people. And they all start adopting different names, like Bill and Riker, Milo, Mario, etc., so every time there's a clone, there's a new name, and they then begin to spread off, and you get to go to different solar systems, and you follow the different Bobs, and it's, it's a very fun book series. 
Um, Riker winds up going back to Earth to see how everything is, and because there's no FTL, uh, that's faster than light travel, um, it takes years. So by the time Bob reaches the first solar system outside of Earth, 10 years pass. By the time Riker comes back to Earth, another 10 years pass. So it's 20 years since Bob had, had left Earth. And, uh, cut. Uh, I had to stop for a minute because my youngest son woke up and I had to go help him. So I'm back to finish out this review. And so one of the things I didn't mention is that the Brazilian Empire was able to get a replicant of their own and send it out. But he's evil and Bob has to fight him. Once in the first solar system that they go to, and again when they stumble across it in another solar system, and it's a recurring threat. Um, Riker is trying to help everyone on Earth because the world is basically falling into a nuclear winter and they will not survive. They're, and besides that, only 15 million humans remain because one of the copies of the Brazilians. Um, decided to drop giant asteroids on the Earth. And then um, you have Bob reaching the third system, and he stumbles across a sentient alien race that are, he calls them kind of like pigoid kind of things. They're like bat pig creatures. And um, he basically starts to research them. And then there's some hints at an alien race that is capable of wiping out entire star systems. And you don't find out about that until later on, but uh, it's a really solid, fun book. And it, um, as I've said, I've already finished the first three. Um, I haven't listened to the fourth book or anything, but I really enjoyed them. But it's been a long time since I've gone back to listen to them. So I would definitely suggest if you got Audible, We Are Legion, We Are Bob is a good book to listen to if you like sci-fi.